what is up fishing addicts on today's video we will be talking about winter to spring transition baits that i personally like using and before we start guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button crash that uh, bell icon more for more interesting videos to come and also i still have a giveaway going on i will leave the link somewhere over here for it um the giveaway is still open and it will end on saturday all you have to do is guess which kayak i bought and which or which kayak i was going to get um doesn't have to you don't have to guess the model uh but It'll be nice if you do if not just a brand so let's get to it uh, one of the fall is my favorite but spring is my second favorite um, during spring it's usually when you have a, the most or higher percentile chance of catching a PB just because the bass moving to shore they get away from their uh, deep holes or uh, pockets that you can uh, reach for the most uh, part of the year so right before they spawn they usually school up and they go on the same places where there's a lot of bait and at this time uh, what happens is smallmouth start feeding heavily on crayfish there is some small percent they still feed on uh, dying shad but their main forage is high protein diet which is crayfish and some of the lures that i'll try are i don't know if you guys can see this let's go like this yeah, i gotta upgrade to a different camera I uh, hope you can see it. It's uh, basically Archie Head Jig. Um, also, I prefer a football, but uh, I don't have any right now. I got a big mess in my uh, room because I just received like dozen of stuff that I'm upgrading my new kayak to. So, uh, room is boxes, boxes, and boxes. Um, and also, I like to use a lot of color of choice. At this time of year, it's uh, brown with blue. Um, crayfish in my area, they have this light tint and bluish color to them. They're not like blue blue, but they still have this almost looks like uh, this type of light blue. I don't know if it's gonna, you guys gonna be able to see it, but. Uh, they turn uh, bluish and the baby crayfish the juveniles they are almost orange and they start turning blue towards at the end but uh they'll still have some blue on them not as bright but they also have a blue tint so fish focus on that they see light brown color and blue tint soft shell small mouths love it i discovered that last year and i did a huge huge killing i mean every time i went out it was amazing um also like i said not all of them are uh, crayfish eaters some of them like minnows or shad pattern what i like to do is I'll use a white, a soft plastic with a black jig head. Uh, the reason I use black jig head is last year a fisherman uh, told me about a little secret that he has. He's been fishing uh, the river for over 35 years and he told me a lot of people come with buckets of minnows and they use f uh, fat head, fat or flat fat head minnows. And if you look at a fathead minnow, it has a silverish body, but a black head. So a lot of walleyes know that's an easy meal because it's a fish that hasn't seen a predator. 
so they are easy picking on them. So I use uh, paddle tails, but sometimes when I see a smaller bait fish around the shoreline and they're just making circles, what I found out is using a small baby fish, uh, this is a mega bass, soft plastic, I forgot what was it called, but it has amazing action, the tail, even in the water with the very light current, the tail will still move, and uh, smallmouth and walleye love it. Um, I use, I like to use a mushroom head on the, on these, because when I cast it, it just sits uh, straight up, so I just hop it on the bottom slowly. Uh, what I do with the jig is I usually drag it and the jig will stay just like this up. Uh, the archi head stays up like this for the most part and then fall slowly. But what I do is I'll just drag it slowly and just hop it uh, sometimes. And also this one. A Ned rig. Um, this is cross Z or whatever, and I put it on a, a Z man uh, shroom head, and it is a killer bait. It imitates exactly how a juvenile crow is. As you guys can see, there's blue uh, sprinkles on it, and I absolutely love this. I mean, I was using something similar to it last year. And I did a killing on it, and now I found exactly what I was looking for. Light brown with uh, blue sprinkles on it. And glitter, the word I was looking for, it's actually glitter. Uh, blue glitter that shines. And next thing that I want to emphasize is scent. Guys, when you're fishing cold water, everybody slows down. I mean, dead slow, almost dead slow. Right now, fish just started moving. So, they're not that active yet. We're not that, at that point that where they're chasing bait. So, for the most part, I go with realistic bait. And fish have a lot more time to inspect your bait. Because you're moving it very slow. So I use, when I'm using a jig, I'll put on a crayfish uh, scent with uh, garlic. When I'm using a shad pattern or a minnow, I'll use a minnow scent. And I have a bunch of scents, but uh, on some, on the minnows or uh, shad, I'll put a little bit of chartreuse on the back. Also, it imitates a little baby bluegill and uh, bass love baby bluegills. If you ever seen a, uh, how a two inch or less bluegill look like, they have a, around them, they have this chartreuse tint on their fins and stuff. So bass love it. Um, it also gives them something to focus on. And the other thing, um, what I do at this time of the year is right before spring hits instead of fishing during the morning or during the day I like to fish at night what happens is let's say bright blue skies it's not very common but we get we just start getting those before the rain starts even though the temp let's say the outside temperature is 34 degrees for the day highest so at that time, from sunrise to almost sunset, the air temperature just moved up around 2, 3 o'clock, it will hit its highest point, and then it starts falling. But what happens is, when the sun starts going down, the riverbed, it's usually rocks or just mud, which is a dark color. Anything dark color absorbs sunlight, heat. When the sun goes down, heat rises, warms up the water, making the fish a little bit more active. What I found out is I get more fish at night 
then in the morning in the morning pretty much the fish are just standing or barely moving they, they, they even if they chase a bait what I've seen them they see the lure they'll just slowly swim up to it inspect it and they'll just put their nose down and inspect the jig and just follow it to a certain point and then they'll, they'll eat it or they'll just look at it and they'll lose interest and they move on but at night right after the sun goes down when the water te when the heat is rising the water is a little bit warmer especially on the rivers where the current there's a current break uh, let's say a high current and then no current and you see a little bit of steam rising that's when that's the perfect time to fish water is temperature is going up fish's metabolism speeds up so of course when you're cold hard to move when you start getting warming when you start warming up you move a lot faster same thing with the fish so guys keep these tips uh, on your head when you go out this uh, early spring because ice is almost over so i believe after this weekend we shouldn't have any more ice on the river and hopefully hopefully i can get my kayak on the water uh, well it will be pretty much the river but hopefully i can get it after next weekend and hopefully the ice is gone by end of the month so we can do some mad uh salmon fishing or trout fishing at the big lake i'm so excited for it so i almost gave away the name of my kayak so guys that said hopefully you guys killed a spring bass and let me know if you have any other tips and tricks for early spring winter to spring transition jack them down below and what do you think about the tips do you guys think uh, this is a good uh, good tips and tricks let me know down below what you guys think i'm curious what you guys think so that's it guys i'm gonna make it a short i'm not gonna make the extended video any more than it, it has to be see you guys on the next one